joined us from the Northwest, and tomorrow the weather will be clear. And now to top off this edition of the 6 o'clock news. My story. A lady in Philadelphia lost her dog. She went to the pound and found it. And when she got home, she found she had the wrong dog. <laughs> the woman, who didn't know one dog from another, was a vegetarian. Veterinarian! <laughs> what Ted just said. <laughs> Newsroom. Oh, hi, Rhoda. Uh, listen, I'm sorry I'm late. I got hung up here. Uh, did you think of a movie for us to see? Hmm. Uh, no, don't pick me up. I want to come home first. Yeah, I'll try to think of a movie. Bye-bye. Go see the new John Wayne picture. Is it good? They're all good. I never miss a one. Why is that, Lou? Do you uh, identify with John Wayne? <laughs> That's it. Wayne gets teed off at somebody, he hits up or shoots up. I get teed off at somebody, all I can do is write a memo. Like this one! <laughs> say, Mary, you want to see a good movie? See Son of Flubber. You can't go wrong with a Disney movie. You know what my favorite Disney movie is? Snow White. Right. <laughs> hey, who can name all seven dwarfs? I can. Lou, how about you? Burr, how about you? You, you want to grab a hamburger? No, I don't eat meat. I'm a veterinarian. <laughs> Uh, Rhoda, listen, aren't both legs supposed to be up when you're in the lotus position? Only fanatics use both legs. <laughs> hey, can you get that? Huh? Oh, sure. She'll want to come along, and you'll let her. You know, she sounded kind of frantic. Sure, she's frantic. We might go to a movie without her. Oh. Hi, Phyllis. Something's come up, and I wondered if you could take care of Bess for a few days. Oh, what is it? Uh, well, it's Lars, Mary. He's contracted a case of varicella from one of his patients. Varicella? Yes. What's that? Lars is in the incubation period, and I'm immune. Well... <laughs> Chicken pot! That's what that quack got, chicken pot. <laughs> I really wouldn't ask you if it weren't an emergency, Mary. See, you said varicella, but it's plain old mundane chicken uh, pocket. Okay. Rhoda, would you I'm please? I'm kid's disease. Rhoda, <laughs> please, Phyllis. Uh, don't misunderstand this, but are you sure that Bess wants to stay with me? I mean, you know, she's not exactly crazy about me. Mary, it's time Bess found out that life is no bed of roses. <laughs> up in a second. These are the books. The books? Yeah, on creative child rearing. I know some people find it amusing that I insist on raising best from these, but the uh, men and women who wrote them are experts, and the people who laugh uh, aren't. Besides, Bess thinks these books show a lot of insight. Bess has read these? Yes, why does that surprise you? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I mean, she's just a little girl. <laughs> Wrong. She's just a little girl. Uh, chapter six. The adult who says of a child she's just a little girl is clearly showing her ignorance. <laughs> well, what do I know? <laughs> now, she's, she's going to be here in a second, so I think I ought to prepare you for something. Oh, what? Well, it's just something she does when she's angry. I, I just ignore it. I wish you would, too. Well, what? Oh, uh, Mother's coming, no, Beth. No, no, Mother is not coming until Mary finds out what it is that Beth does. She wears my wig and makeup. <laughs> Mary will be 
doing the very best she can, Bess, and uh, we can't expect too much of her. Remember, mother and father love their Bess, and Mary likes her. <laughs> well, here we are. Uh, have you had dinner? Yes, Phyllis burned it. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? You didn't burn it. Well, no, but it's just that, you know, when you try to fix something and then it doesn't turn out right, it's kind of disappointing. Well, it doesn't bother Phyllis. Uh, do you always call your mother Phyllis? It's her name. <laughs> yeah, I know, but when I was a little girl, I, when I was a, a young person, I, uh, I always called my mother mother. I still do. I mean, I, I never even think of calling her Marge! <laughs> That's what it is. It's Marge. <laughs> Did Phyllis show you these books? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I haven't had a chance to really get into them yet. Yeah, well, I think you ought to. This isn't going particularly well so far, do you know? <laughs> Does it know? Do uh, you like having the, all that makeup on your face? Yes, do you? I think it, it makes you look awful. Bess? Uh, Bess, what are, you, what are you doing? Mary? Oh. <laughs> Bess forgot this. She likes her milk in it. Oh. <laughs> How's everything going so far? Don't answer, don't answer. I know everything's going great. Where is she? Well, uh, she's, uh... Locked herself in the bathroom, huh? Uh, well, yes. You said something without looking it up in the book first. Is it that right? Well, yes. Uh, uh, what did you say? Uh... Well, I told her I thought the makeup looked awful. And now you're trying to get her out of there. Yes, I am. Out? Phyllis, could you help me, please? Of course I'm going to help you. Good. Here, chapter eight, right of privacy. Uh, Bess, I, I respect your right of privacy. I don't mind your locking the door. Uh, r really, I, I don't. And, um... <clears throat> I am always eager to participate in a free and open discussion of whatever it is that's bothering you. <laughs> really? Really, I, I am. You might have to burn your washcloth. It's got gunk all over it. I recognize those quotes are right from the books, aren't they? Uh, well, yeah, they are. Hey, uh, what do you say we forget the books and talk about what fun we can have tomorrow? How about that? I'm not working and you and I could go shopping. What for? Nothing. You don't have to buy anything when you shop. And that's kind of nice, because if you know you're not going to buy anything, then you don't have to wonder whether or not you can afford it. Mary, what happened? 
Well, you know something? She's really just a nice little... <coughs> just a nice little girl. How? How what? Did you do it? I didn't do anything. Well, all right, maybe I did. Hey, Rhoda, have you ever wondered what kind of mother you'll be? I don't care, as long as it's not on win. <laughs> Wondered, and you know what? I think I'm going to be fantastic. Pearl, don't you think? I think you threatened her life. Oh. Morning, all. Hi. Everything is beautiful. Guess what? Lars was in error when he thought he had varicella. Chicken pox. All he has is rooster versaloba. Translation, please. Poison oak. Hi, Phyllis. Oh, get your things, dear. Mother's here to take you home. I don't want to go home. <laughs> what? I don't want to go home. Oh, oh, Phyllis, she doesn't mean that. As soon as you get her home, she's going to be... Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't force her, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> we encourage her independence. If this is where she wants to be, this is where you want to be, is it, Bess? Uh, but Phyllis... No, 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 Mary, you don't understand. If Bess wants this... This is what you want, Bess. Well, it's obviously her wish to stay here, so uh, is it your wish, Bess? <laughs> then this is where she'll stay. Oh.